Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make my first run of injection mold baits. I haven't done this before, and you guys are going to come along with me for the ride. If y'all saw my last new first time of making baits, it was the hamcorn mold that I got of making these soft twitch baits here. And now I got my injection, and I have a worm mold, and I got dead on plastics, plastisol, I got some glitter, I got some color. So we're gonna see what we can do. Here's the setup. I got a gallon of dead on plastics worm plastic. And I got three colors. I got white, got green pumpkin, and chartreuse. I have fire red from Lure Works, 0.025 hex cut. And then I got light gold, also from Lure Works, and also 0.025 inch hex cut. And then my mold is stick worms. So I'm gonna make four at a time, and we're gonna see what we can do. Now, with the colors and the glitter that I have, we could probably make some pretty good uh, combinations. So I'm thinking maybe green pumpkin with red flick. I don't know, we're gonna see. Plastisol open. Already shook it up about a hundred times. And it needs to be 350 degrees to get through its stages. So let's get in there. Let's get this one open, green pumpkin. Yeah. Like they wax it, I like to make our smart bottle. There we go. That was easier than I thought it would be. Mold. Plant up. This way it's uh, pretty balanced. Do red glitter. Basically, right now, we just wait. I say, take a little worm oil with the injector open, put a little in there, and just kind of work it so that your o rings are good and nice and ready to go. Okay, get this out. just worked on. I think that says 300. Oh. Looks still really, really thick and really gooey. So I'll leave it take. Well, got another battery for it and it's uh, the same. So I think my thermometer is toast, which would make this first uh, run so much fun. So I'm gonna wing it. That's what we're going to do. Still really go. 
only. It's not ready yet. And it's only a 700 watt microwave, so it's not a real strong microwave, which will potentially keep me from burning it, hopefully. this time so I don't have to worry about it being on the sides. But that's all right. Give it 30 more seconds. And let's not push the microwave off of the table. First timer for you. I just popped the top right off into the blast of saw, which I'll have to fix that. Blast saw is probably going to be really hot still. Damn it. I'm not ready for that. I'm not blast saw everywhere. Um, 
Oh, warm, way where it goes. Well, the thermometer came in handy for something. Getting the rest of the plastic off. Out of the tip. Of the injector. Alright. In a couple minutes, let's see. These turned out. Fingers crossed, they did. Better than I originally expected. Yeah, there we go. Green pumpkin with red flake. A little translucent, so you'll be able to see some light through them, find them. But I feel like for the first uh, injection ever, pretty, pretty good. Put those off of there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I kind of like it. Green pumpkin, red flake. Let's get those in the bath. Let's do it again. Should we be a little bit more careful this time? Shall we? A second, see what it does. All right, let's check this one. Injector, I got the nozzle stuck on the bottom and it sucked up a lot of air. I think these are the two full ones and these have a ton of air pockets. This one is like a tube, hollow tube almost. So we'll keep these and redo the others. Alright, so ready. Here we go. Do it. did not have a great feeling about this one because it wasn't quite enough it sunk in a lot let's see still that yeah that one I figured that one would be messed up and actually the other three turned out pretty good so that's uh that's promising. A little... Oh, it's not flashing, that's just from the finger. Yeah, so good. Well, that's good. So we'll keep these three. And this one going back in the mix. Let's try just some chartreuse, just like straight chartreuse. Maybe we can do something with that. This over here to cool off from the fan. Thirty-one. Don't need 
Mm. Nice. Nice and bright. Plot twist, everybody. One of my favorite stick worms to throw is a young dinger, green pumpkin, with chartreuse, chartreuse tail. So, I am actually going to cut these down to just the tail, and I'm going to pump the rest of the green pumpkin red flake in there. And then we'll see if that turns out. Obviously I'm really super new to this and probably not good at it. You know, probably not good enough to try something advanced, but I'm gonna try it anyway just because I want to. This closed back up, clamped back down. Give that a second, see how it goes. 
Give it a go. Two worked, two didn't, just didn't have enough stiff. But actually that worked out pretty well. I'm uh, surprised. I think I'm gonna be able to use those pretty well. And these two, well, well <laughs> you can see right there that those just came right off, so that works. Anyway. Well guys. You got to come along with me on first run. Yeah, I was in the bath. That'll be all right. They're not perfect, but they'll be all right. Well guys, there we go. Got some stick worms made. They're a little thicker than the regular stick worms that I think you buy at the store, but I think they're still gonna work out really well. And I was able to experiment a little bit and actually make something that I will be happy to use. So anyway, if you like this video, video, be sure to click the like button below, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and if you're interested in some baits, email me at techguyfishing at gmail.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.